here is the block that I purchased at one of the home improvement stores that um, is mycelium from oyster mushrooms, white oyster mushrooms. And it's produced three nice flushes, so I decided to go ahead and because we're making our move soon, to go ahead and break it down to cultivate it so that we will have a lot more mycelium later. I started a jar a few weeks ago, and you can see the bottom of that is already starting to look a lot like the block. Now this is in coffee grounds, in a mason jar, and that's what I'm getting ready to do. For this project, what you're going to need is sterilized coffee grounds, which they'll be sterilized when they come straight out of the coffee maker because they've had boiling water on them, a sterilized knife, a mason jar that's been sterilized, with a ring that's been sterilized, and a coffee filter that's been sterilized. Now, the reason why everything needs to be sterilized is because you don't want your mycelium to have to compete with other fungus or bacteria because you want your mycelium to be able to take off right away, which is what this jar did. It took off, started growing immediately. Actually, I was very surprised at how fast. I've done this lots of times, but this one started faster than any. Um, you can sterilize your mason jar and lid and coffee filter with rubbing alcohol. If you do that, you need to make sure it is completely dry inside before you put the mycelium up in, otherwise it will kill the mycelium. So I have cut off a nice chunk of mycelium and placed it in the bottom of my sterilized mason jar. Now I'm going to add the coffee grounds on top of that. You want to make sure it's completely covered and um, don't add any moisture. You want to make sure that all of the water has drained completely out of the coffee grounds because if it gets too wet, it will mold even if you've been very careful to sterilize everything. So next we're going to add the coffee grounds. The coffee grounds completely covering the mycelium. You can shake it a little bit if you want it to settle. Make sure there's no air pockets down below it. And I have put the lid on with the coffee filter. And the reason why you want to put a coffee filter on this instead of a regular lid is because you want to let there be some air exchange because if there is no air then the mycelium will not grow. But if you leave it open, bacteria, fungi will get introduced in here and you want to have your mycelium have no competition for growth. So I'm going to continue breaking this down and adding it to jars and I will probably get 30 jars out of this. Um, the last time I did this was in Washington which I had to leave my mycelium behind but it was probably about four months before I started getting mushrooms off of my coffee ground jars. But what I'm going to do this time, I'm actually going to take it to the top. So when this mycelium completely encompasses all of this co these coffee grounds, I'm going to go ahead and add more and wait for the mycelium to grow and continue going until I have a good full jar of coffee grounds. At that point, I will put the coffee grounds and the mycelium into a big basket full of sterilized straw and let it go from there. I will show you that when I get to that point, but that'll be in a few months. See you next time.